The chief psychiatrist treating children released from the Branch Davidian compound say there is no evidence that they were sexually abused. Vicki Mabry has more on the disturbing stories told by the compound's youngest residents. The surviving children from the Branch Davidian compound, all under the age of 12, say they were told to call cult leader David Koresh father and to refer to their parents as dogs. They report being paddled for minor offenses and say girls as young as 11 were old enough to have sex with Koresh. I think that there was a sense and some evidence to suggest that there was inappropriate exposure to sexually explicit materials. Officials at a foster home where the 21 children were taken in the first days after the bloody shootout between cult members and federal agents say the youngsters were secretive at first and afraid. One incident that we saw was when a youngster spilt milk. His initial reaction was to cover up his head uh, as though he expected to be struck. And that was one of the first messages we gave them here very emphatically that you will not be struck here. But as the children began to trust outsiders, they revealed in words and pictures more about life inside the Branch Davidian compound. One girl drew a colored rainbow over a roof covered with black spots. She took her crayon and went... And I asked what that was, and she said that was bullets. Texas Child Protective Services workers were told long before the shootout that David Koresh was physically and sexually abusing children, but could not find any evidence. Dr. Perry says even now the children still love and fear David Koresh and will need counseling for years to come. Vicki Mabry, CBS News, Dallas. Taking a look now at this morning's weather forecast, the satellite photo shows clouds over the northeast and the Atlantic coastline. The Midwest is finally clearing up, but it's gray and stormy across the Rockies. During the day, that storm over the Rockies will keep the region cold and wet, with the higher elevations continuing to receive snow. The plains will get thunderstorms, but the Midwest will be sunny and warm. The deep south will stay dry, but rain is predicted for the northeast. That's the national forecast. Now, here's a look at your weather.